Hey peeps, Darcy here from Ergonomics Help. Today, I want to talk about your keyboard height. Okay, so your keyboard height. You know, the, the place where you have your keyboard and your desk and this is the place where you work from. Now, if you optimize this height, so if you make sure that it's in a really, really good location for you, then you can avoid aches and pains, make you more productive in your day too. So today I'm gonna to tell you exactly what you should be doing to make sure that your keyboard height with your mouse is set up as ergonomically as possible. So what you wanna do first is take a look at your desk. You wanna take a look to see if it is a height adjustable desk, if you have a keyboard tray, or if you just work from a standard desk with no height adjustment. So first things first, what you wanna do is make sure that your neutral elbow height when you're seated in your chair is slightly higher than your keyboard height. And you do this to make sure that your shoulders and your elbows and everything's just relaxed and feeling good. So what does this mean if you are in a height adjustable desk or if you have a keyboard tray? Well, this is a really, really, really easy adjustment. All you have to do is sit in your normal chair, make sure that your feet are firmly on the ground, your back's on the backrest of your chair, your elbows are bent at about 90 degrees, and then all you do is position your keyboard and your mouse on that keyboard tray or desk to be slightly lower than your neutral elbow height. Okay? So you're sitting in your desk and you just lower, you usually lower everything so it fits you like a glove. You got it, easy peasy? So let's talk about the second scenario. And in this scenario, this is when there's no height adjustability whatsoever. What do you do? Well, I know a lot of us don't have that. And this is a really simple step that everybody should be doing to make sure that you're working as comfortably as possible. So what you wanna do with this situation is work backwards. I know, right, working backwards. So what you wanna do first is raise your chair so that you are working with your keyboard in a neutral elbow and shoulder posture. So what this means is that raise your chair high enough so you can get your elbows at 90 degrees and the keyboard and the mouse are just slightly below your neutral elbow height, check. Okay, now what you wanna do is put something below your feet because most of us, when we do this, we raise our chair so high that there's nothing in between our feet and our ground and our feet are usually dangling and that's not good for our ergonomics. So what you wanna do is get, you can get uh, a foot rest or like um, old phone books or textbooks or really anything, boxes, paper, and you wanna put that below your feet so your, your thighs are roughly parallel to the ground, okay? So that's the two scenarios that, I'm gonna sh that I share with you today. I hope that brings value. Um, and the big thing with this, in whatever situation that you're working in, you always have to make sure that your elbows at are, are about 90 degrees and roughly tucked into your side so that the keyboard and the mouse are just slightly below your neutral elbow height, okay? And if you can do that, you're probably going to be working a lot more better, pain-free, productive, and more ergonomically friendly throughout your days. If you haven't checked out our free ebook yet, about five simple tips you can put into place to make your workstation more ergonomic, the link is in the description. Otherwise, I'm Darcy from Ergonomics Help, and I hope you have a super safe and super fun day. Bye-bye.